hi guys my name is lynn and today is my last installment on my career fair with lynn on gambakwe media's channel and the last thing that i would just want to discuss with you guys is how the heck do you even look for a job I, I think this is directed to the guys that are fresh from varsity i've been seeing a lot of people have been graduating different degrees all of oh my gosh you guys is a new exciting chapter but one thing that no one ever teaches you is how do you even look for a job i've been i've gone to a lot of career fairs at school teachers that want to do career guide but actually no one ever really says learn if you want to get your first job this is how you do it now granted some people get their first jobs from family and friends I, I, you know what i actually want to say do not be deterred you know when you start finish school there's some people that already have things lined up right they already got a job doing exactly what they for right they did a big home accounting they really got articles like they are set right and then there you are three four months in and like literally no one is calling you honestly is don't worry your time will come you will get a job all i'll say actually the truth of the matter is looking for a job is a job itself you just need to give it your all that's all i'll say like every morning if you're unemployed every morning you need to wake up and say okay what's my plan to get a job today you can't like be sending cvs on a monday only on thursday do you remember to check your emails do you then send your cv i remember when i was looking for my first job literally it got to a point where almost every job that's in my field or close to linking remotely linking to my field i would now know them by heart you know how when another company when a company re post a job you see you're like i already applied to this <laughs> that's just how serious i wasn't looking for a job and guys it did pay off i did get my first job on my own so i know a lot of people say it's who you know yes it does give you like a leg up but not everyone has got connections you can get a gig all on your own so how do you do it first and foremost please have a great cv i've done an uh, an example of how to write a cv please check my youtube channel lean fito there is a whole long 10 minute post dedicated to just that how to write a cv once advice or a sample of cvs please go and check on my channel i'm going to talk about four ways that you can get a job right number one your network now your network could be like your parents hooking you up but also teachers sometimes are a great source your lecturers go and ask them say hi do you know and some people business owners uh go to your lectures like yeah we're looking for interns that sort of thing so that's your network your network could be other people that are seniors that are already working. So let's say you know another guy that was like in fourth year and when you're in second year and you keep contact, right? Hit them up. Hi, how did you get your job? Um, do you know if your company is hiring? So guys, when you're selecting your Facebook friends, Instagram friends, make sure that you're just not wasting your data on celeb gossip, <laughs> right? Make sure that you're also building networks for your future. So keeping in contact with your former schoolmates can actually come to your advice. So that's your network, guys. So it's not anything complicated. Your network could be family, friends, people at church. When you're looking for a job, you need to be confident. You know someone at church that runs a business. Go and say hi, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lynn. In case you didn't know, I've got a bachelor in uh, industrial psychology. I just finished our internet exam. Don't find out. Are you guys looking for any interns or any junior people i literally can do anything i just want to get into the industry guys your first job you're not gonna get rich right you just want the foot in the door yes there are other people that are telling you like oh my god with my first job i was offered three thousand dollars yes good for you but most of the time guys consider on getting a job right you're not gonna get rich just you need something to fill up that cv right maybe your second job you can consider on that i don't say Sometimes, you know, I know other industries are even hard like to get in. Like I know law, people that don't do law articles. It's very difficult to get articles. But once you finish your articles and you're now a, like a registered attorney, like the money is flowing, right? So you can sacrifice two years of getting crappy or if, if you can live at home, even working for free, take it as an internship until you get, you know, to be an attorney and you know you start getting paid the money that you're looking for so that's another thing so the second thing is going through recruitment agencies now i want to caution you recruitment agencies you should they should not ask you for money how it works is 
agencies get paid by the client companies have got what they call a recruitment budget so when they place you at a job they actually get paid for finding you because you are talent right so don't listen to anyone that says oh i can write your cv go on my web on my channel there is a post about that so you don't to pay anybody someone that says oh i'm gonna get you on to job boards if it's for free to reach the on job boards don't pay anyone money remember you are looking for money so how can you be looking for money and be paying other people it doesn't make sense so don't fall for the scams right guys right so recruitment agencies some are generalists that means they just hire whatever but if you are specialized accounting engineering health it that sort of thing there are some recruitment agencies that just handle it candidates some agents that just do engineering so you call in and you say to your case hi i've got a whatever i'm just going to find out if you guys are recruiting for any projects if it or not it's actually difficult to find experienced people especially degreed people for jobs that's why the agencies are being paid to look for people to, to employ by companies so in, instead of using your airtime for calling your homies rather use your airtime to call in directly speak to a consultant most more more times than more they actually may be looking for exactly what you studied or your experience let's go on to linkedin guys a lot of people do are not present on linkedin why i do not know i've gotten a lot of opportunities from linkedin i've searched for my own projects through linkedin right so on linkedin i'm not saying write your last story but literally write what you did study whatever like your cv literally copy and don't be lazy copy and paste your cv onto linkedin and then actively look for connections build your network look for connections of people in your industries preferably hiring managers if you are an it developer your development manager project manager people like that those are the people you should be connecting with and you know what guys directors everyone i've never sent anyone a linkedin request and unless if they're not active but i've always gotten responses guys put yourself out there do not be nervous you can even then once you send out a request and they accept send them a, a direct message dm them right hi my name is lynn and i've got a bsc and in informatics i've developed in eShop sql big data that sort of thing and i'm currently looking for work as a junior developer you'd be surprised someone is bound to think about it if you just google on linkedin i think really for the it you find development managers because they're the ones that are hiring for the projects and the teams you find there are over three thousand development managers it's really in south africa alone you're telling me not even one person will call you for an interview if you literally do that religiously and you can download linkedin onto your phone as an app i think at this point if you're looking for a job delete that instagram and just leave linkedin until you find a job that's when you hop on back onto these other distracting social media platforms i don't know it's just my thought also uh, using linkedin you can always uh, for example let's say you want to work for um, 21st century developers right you can go on to LinkedIn and you find out who is the development manager, right? And then when you find the development manager, you can then directly call up the company. Hello, hi, may I please speak to Lynn, the development manager? And she, when they come on the phone, pitch yourself. Literally have a, a pitch written, right? Hi, my name is Lynn. I've done ABC. And you just want to find out if you guys are actively looking for any testers, any business analysts, or anything in the IT department you'd be surprised someone could be looking and you'd be called for an interview and also guys linkedin is a good job but a lot of people do advertise you can search during high with hashtags hash you to type in hashtag job opportunity it jobs you'll find and also you can just directly just go on jobs there are literally loads of jobs that are updated every day on linkedin and the nice thing about linkedin is if you apply through linkedin the cv literally goes into the hr or the hiring person's email address not some weird info because when someone reads at the registers their linkedin
page and if you leave they are paying for it like the people that post jobs they are actually paying a fee for linkedin it's not free for companies right so they use their work email address so you know for sure when you send your cv through linkedin the person that's advertising is the one that actually gets not their pa actually the person that's looking gets their CV. So that's just a tip from me to you lastly guys make use of your job boards um in zimbabwe i'm not sure which job boards are popular but in sa the good ones are pnet indeed carriers 24. i think maybe executive placements all of them guys make sure you register your profile because what happens is when recruitment agencies and hiring managers are looking for people they do put up adverts but half the time they just log in which they pay a fee every month it's a lot of money that they pay to have access to those job boards so how it works is when they literally are looking for uh, someone to do articles they'll literally just log in into their paid account and they'll type in exactly what they are looking for right so they'll search inside the platform uct accounting 2012 src they say they want someone on the board right the people that come up that's when they call some people use talio it's the same thing so guys make sure i'll just recap make sure you, you are growing your network network being your friends family colleagues schoolmates you're following people that are in line with what you're trying to do and the third thing recruitment agencies that you are registered with almost every recruitment agency that is in your niche or anyone or even generalists and lastly job boards make sure you are applying through job boards and your cv is with all the job boards guys i promise you you will get a job but remember what i said at the beginning right looking for a job is a job itself so you can't send your cv on a sunday and then you only check your emails on a thursday it has to be every day you wake up you see which jobs were posted last night when i was asleep you apply in the afternoon evening you check which jobs were posted during the day you apply always check your emails some companies do not call they'll send you emails to communicate make sure you are checking your emails you can't be responding three days later All right. if you can have notifications coming through your phone the better they send you a message that means they're thinking about you at that time make sure you respond there and then and make sure you're not paying somebody do not pay an agent do not pay an agency do not pay nobody to get your job because that's just a scam anyway remember you are amazing and don't let anyone tell you otherwise until next time